to the pin click. Everybody's getting so comfortable on the show. We just talk through the opening. And it's cool because it's funnier that way, right? Yes. Oh, we yeah. think so. <laughs> totally. We're keep doing it. <laughs> I am your host, Deanna. I am joined Woo! by my co host, Gary Bedell. Yo. And we've got our wonderful click of artists this month. We have eight artists. And I'm going to introduce them real quick so they can give you a little wave and then we'll get into it. Um, Nate Howard is with us tonight. Hi. <laughs> We've got Eric E. Danger Wright. Danger. There's that guy right there. Yeah. <laughs> We've got Caitlin Blaine. Hello. She has a friend that might join her in the background. Just <laughs> He's right off right? screen. He's not imaginary. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> They're fighting each other right now for yeah. top bit. <laughs> We've got Corey the Sea. Yes. What's up? We've got Chris Yarborough. Yeah. I assure you I'm waving. Yes. <laughs> I assure you. He's the disembodied voice once hand. again this month. He is our imaginary friend. There I'm you either, go. That's right. I'm either going to have to get a uh, webcam or make some dedicated art for that thumbnail. <laughs> animate yourself live. Yeah, just yeah, yeah, right. there we go. back to back. Good no, idea. I need to make a I need to make my uh, head in a jar. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Perfect. And, and last, it can light up. But certainly not least, we have a brand new victim. I mean artist this month. <laughs> Mr. Chad Thomas. Hello, everybody. Straight up Chad. Hey. hey. Space, space, space. Oh, yeah. Something I already miss. Gary like Kermit the Frog. Yay! After like every <laughs> every person introduction introducing. Yay! You know, I have Yay! to go. I have to go back and rewatch these intros and watch the different squares of what's happening. It's, yeah, it, it, going back through the old ones, like it's too much. It's, it's a trip. There's things that are like I want to do more of that. We could do less of that. But we can See, <laughs> that's why everyone in internet land needs to go back and watch season right. one and catch up on season well, two. Season one's ready, about to ready to post, so I'll, I'll knock them out. I'll get them out. Oh, nice, nice. <laughs> and you guys in the chat, if you see something we do that's irritating or annoying, go ahead and tell us. Make us aware of it. We'll try to stop, well, or we'll do it more. Keep that to yourself. Then it'll he's, just be a slideshow art with no talking or, or video, and then that's no fun. <laughs> that guy breathes too much. <laughs> <laughs> Please, like, stop the breathing. Thank you. <laughs> oh, that's gonna be me today. Oh, I've got a mouth breathing. Yes, yeah. cold. Oh, oh. Oh, everybody. It's, well, not COVID. it's not COVID. Thank you for not getting sick early enough to miss it. We, we're missing two girls tonight. One sick and one hurt her back. Oh, so. yeah. Big shout out to Haley. <laughs> Haley, miss you tonight. We Sarah, do. Miss you Sarah, take care of um, Let me see. Well, everybody out there, welcome back. If you are back, um, if you are new to the show, Welcome to the show. We're glad to have you. Um, a quick rundown the way the pin click works. Every month we come up with a topic. We ask you, the viewers, um, to give us suggestions for that topic. And then one or more of those suggestions, depending on the month, is what we pick for the show. Um, this month, we did a switch up. We asked for um, cartoon properties that um, had lots of characters in it that we could take and humanize, turn them into what they would look like as real people in the real world. And who what Mr. Mike Huff, if you're out yeah. there, thank you. Yours won yeah, dude. barely. Muppets came in a very, very, very close second. We almost yeah. got Muppets. But I'm excited. This is <laughs> what I voted for. <laughs> um, Foster's Home for Imaginary Friends. Woo! If you have not seen that, you need to look it up. I rewatched it last night and <laughs> it's still good, even without children in the room. I loved it. Lots Did you of watch the whole thing? No. Oh, I was I was like, you watched wow. the whole thing in one day. I was like, I watched dang. like three episodes and then I uh, fell asleep during the movie. <laughs> about Goodwill Hunting, right? Huh? Goodwill Hunting, the movie? Oh, I didn't. No, no, no. It was Imagination. Oh, Something. that one. Okay, okay. Where she falls into the toy box. I need yeah, to watch the end of it. I missed it. <laughs> <laughs> but let me see. Um, 
So yeah, I told you what the pink lick is. Oh, shout out to our sponsors. Um, we've got Clever Kaiju, which I think all of these guys are a member of. Yeah, yeah. And we've got Playco Games, which I own, I co-own. <laughs> Lights out. I own it. Yeah. Come on. Sorry, I tried to <laughs> um, We have got Vision Con Pop Culture Convention. Yeah. And we have got Tremendicon, a brand new multimedia creators convention coming next yes. summer. Yes. So throughout the night, I'll tell you a little bit more about each of those sponsors. I figured we'd break it up and jump in there. Um, so now we're going to get into the art. I would like you all to stay tuned, though, at the end of the show, after we have seen these eight amazing renderings I've already peeked at. So good. <laughs> You're the host. Um, you always get to. I'm the co-host. I don't get to peek at it. By the way, Internet Land, I don't get to see shit. No. <laughs> Only I bet all of the not. internet was like, I bet he's looking at shit. I bet he is. <laughs> and, I, and I opened it. I opened it while I had them on earlier, and they saw me reacting and laughing. And oh, they're so, they're so good. Sharing is caring. But right. at the end of this, um, we if we have time, if we don't talk too much again, they're gonna do another Magma Studio session where they just draw live, which is really cool. You got to see it to believe it. Anyway. I decided instead of picking artists, I was going to pick characters. But Chris, do you have to leave early tonight? I have to leave in about 40 minutes. So. Okay. Well, then, if I don't pick yours out before it's getting close to that, you say, hey, let me go. Okay. Cool. Cool. Sounds good to me. <laughs> All right. The rule <laughs> is Gary doesn't go first or last, but this way, that may change that. I of course, My Yarbrough's God. in the cup, like every name in the cup. So. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, you, all right, man. You just present all of us, and we'll just go take a nap. <laughs> I'm, I'm I got, the game being rigged. Haley couldn't be with us tonight, but she did put her artwork in the um, hey, folder, and I pulled cheese first. Oh, Ooh. let's see it. Ooh, I want to see this. Well, this works out. works out. I, I guess see. I should share that, huh? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. First of all, we'll do a double share. I want to. Uh, I've got too many tabs open, guys. In case anybody doesn't know, this is what cheese looks like. <laughs> <laughs> and what, can anybody Earl. do the voice? He likes cereal. I like cereal. <laughs> I like chocolate, chocolate milk. <laughs> <laughs> All right. He's a super, mm -hmm. super, whoop, super creepy dude. Oh, yeah. Um, and give me just a second. I apologize. I closed it's the fine. window with Did Haley's you? art in it because I'm always afraid I will share. I did it once. If you go back in the episodes, I shared the whole screen <laughs> before the art was shared. Yeah. Jeez looks like he went to the imaginary correctional facility. <laughs> <laughs> so I was actually watching a uh, 107 fun facts about positive of imaginary friends while trying to figure out what character i was going to do mm -hmm. and i forgot that whenever it comes to cheese apparently max thought that he imagined him in his sleep and that's why he thinks oh cheese is blue's brother and everything like that but turns out he's not and it was from <laughs> joe schmo little girl that was a neighbor who had a way too active imagination and she's just broke into his room at night it was just like sitting there staring at him <laughs> Let's be honest here. I missed that one. I thought it was yeah. his little brother he nope. imagined by an accident. <gasps> nope. Uh, the girl who imagined him had braces and was um, Max's neighbor. I thought it was his actual brother too. But was it goo? Was it no, it wasn't goo. It was oh. a different girl, just random Joe Schmo girl that I'd never seen before. Okay, and I gotta know. Like, is she creepy like cheese? Not completely creepy, but she was very, very silent. And just awkward. Oh, I gotta find that. <laughs> that explains a lot. Yeah, so it explains a bit. I wonder if she too liked cereal and chocolate. I hope she does. Well, okay. guys, here I'm ready to milk. share. And Haley, she's the queen of creep. And she's just creepy, <laughs> and she nailed it. Yeah. Oh, oh wow! <laughs> it was like Till Lindemann from Romstein. Yeah, what? thank you. Just the, the mouth. Yeah. Oh. Totally yeah. like it. Oh, yeah. I, 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 that's the reaction I had. 
and then I, I loved like it. Chocolate milk. Yeah, dude, that looks like a Rammstein <laughs> cover right there. Dude. Yeah, okay, that's a good bowl. Yeah. Yeah, I was about to say that just reminds me of just like Slipknot meets. <laughs> <laughs> it's like yeah, this Uncle Fester by Till. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my gosh, that is so beautiful. Yeah, and on first look, I was like, oh, that's a creepy dude. And I'm like, wait, and he's round and yellow, and oh my gosh. That's oh yeah, you know, well, you are showing me uh, all the others too. What? Yeah, I'm not. Oh, they're yeah. in the background. Oh. <laughs> yeah, it's all right. Boop. Are they? Are they gone? No. Nope. No. No. Because no. it's within. It's within the browser. Gone. That... I don't yeah. know where. It's fine. Gone. You're fine. There you go. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Is it better? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I got the creep, so we get distracted. Yeah. <laughs> See, that, that's why I hate sharing my screen because it covers up where I'm watching what's going live. Right. Well, normally this isn't a thing, so it's you know. Yeah. Oh, we we have. Oh, we Jeez. That was worth. That was worth it, though. I, that, yeah. You need oh, to hey, that so press beautiful. cancel on that on the side there, on your notes so here. Ah! There you go. It's fine. Okay. It's, it's, because on, my, on the screen, I just put sharing. The whole thing popped up. <laughs> oh, uh, actually, do what you can do is uh, when it opens like that, right click it and say uh, open image, a new tab. Yeah, yep. it'll, just open it'll up. only open it there. Oh, that's all right. I'll forget it's, you said no, that. it's kind of a weird trick anyway. So, yeah, I'm gonna it's, forget. Not, it's not too common that we show other people's <laughs> stuff who's not here. So, that's, that's perfectly fine. Yeah, yeah, guys. <laughs> I'm stressed out enough. Don't do that to me. Hey, <laughs> hey, we're all chill here. Don't even sweat it. Don't even sweat it. Don't worry. We're oh. always we're always chill. There's a but lot yeah, riding on this. I, okay. I'm super yeah. bummed. We couldn't. Haley, if you jump in and start watching and want to type a little description of what you were thinking, I'd love to hear it. I can't wait to find out. <laughs> yeah, it's it's well done. That's I, I love the that's her through and through. Did it too. I, I like that blue underpainting. That she was yeah, mm -hmm. and the facial features is really pretty. I like to get a get a closer look at that again when it's in the gallery. All right, next up, Wilt. Ah, that's Ooh. me. I'm Wilt. No wait, I've got a picture of Wilt. <laughs> yeah, let's do that. Now make sure you don't show everybody. everybody. <laughs> <laughs> well, this isn't in the drive, so it won't be behind it. Yeah, yeah. We're safe. I almost chose Wilt. He's one of my favorites. I was one. He's interesting, dude. I, yeah. He's That's so Wilt. sweet. Yeah. Uh, Have you guys ever seen like his concept art beforehand? No. Okay, so he was supposed to be missing a leg and an arm and also an eye and a couple teeth. It was jacked up on what they were going yeah. for. But they finally just was like, you know what? Let's just take one arm and his eye away. That's it. Let's just do that. <laughs> yeah. Mutilate the guy. And I love how... um. The, what, the episode where they're all taking a group picture. He's like, can I please stand on the bottom step? No, we're in alphabetical order. And his head's always <laughs> out of that. <laughs> yes. Oh, yeah. my gosh. So, Nate, what does yeah. he look like in real life? So, in real life, and there's, this is fun. I really like doing this one. Here we go. Uh, nice. nice. <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> Hell yeah. Love the lamb chops. Yeah. Um, so <laughs> figuring out like what to do with his 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 side like you know piece, it just seemed to me like to, to be the huge chops, you know. Mm -hmm. But one of them has scars in it, like they were sewed back on. So it's like, all right, a band-aid on the cheek, I suppose. Oh um, yeah. So translating like his his um, his eye uh, tendrils, I guess, into his eyebrows. So you got the straight line. Oh, the that's cool. Yeah. That's pretty sick. Um, uh, so the the biggest thing with this was that like the tall, really lanky, really skinny like basketball players reminded me of like the old '80s and '70s like um, basketball players. You know, like the the. the they were just like they had these huge, like either huge hair or huge chops or just weird shapes on their face. But they were like really tiny and really, really skinny, but and just really tall. So I don't know. I just wanted to recreate that kind of almost classic goofy, you know, mm -hmm. look to them. And then, of course, his eyes. Wilt has two different eyes. One of them almost looks fake. <laughs> like It just looks like it was kind of <laughs> <left> <laughs> yeah. so I gave this guy kind of like a fake eye. 
Um, <laughs> but he's he's kind of a champion to me in the sense that like you know he's he's an amputee at, with a fake eye and you know he's all beat up, <laughs> but he's just so happy, you know, like <laughs> just so happy and goofy. And then there's a little bit of a shout out to the uh, remember for anybody in the '90s, I guess, but it was actually created in the '80s, but it went, it took off in the '90s. The old uh, the jazz art piece that was on every yep. like cup and plate from every the, cup. I was just about um, to say that. Which is actually right here. In, it comes from right here in Springfield. A lady named, her first name is Gina. But they actually, they uh, Sweetheart Cup here in Springfield. She actually worked for mm-hmm. them. She, they paid her $35 for the design. And it became like a huge cultural phenomenon throughout the 90s. Mm-hmm. <laughs> they actually went back that and said that it goes. there was another girl named Stephanie that stepped in and was like, no, I created that. But their records, they're like, we have absolutely no idea who created huh. it. But all of our references that we have still show that the original like i can't remember what gina elkis mm. i think might have been her name um but yeah it's called the jazz it actually is a name and you can still find prints of artwork on it anyways i wanted to do something that wasn't like a copy of it but like a shout out to it just to nice. kind of do like a little bit more of that old classic vintage you know b-ball <laughs> nostalgia <laughs> i love it mm-hmm. and i also <laughs> love the pin that you use because i can see a lot of um texture in the pin brush uh that was yeah um i I was complaining about photoshop mobile on the on the mobile device last episode Mm -hmm. uh they had a huge update since then i don't i I can't claim responsibility for my complaints but (laughs) (laughs) most of this was done very similar to my process on 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 the desktop like there was a few things i had to do things a little differently um in fact, I'm still not happy with how colors are rendered because there's actually a lot of shading in the shirt that I put in there, but it didn't mm. render as well. Mm. It's not as clear. There's actually a lot of shading in the shirt that's missing or it's, it, or it's oh. too similar. Did you use Illustrator for this? I it is. You... Uh, this was all the coloring was done. I did Illustrator for the line work and then I brought it over to the Photoshop and did color with Photoshop. Nice. Um, but all the, uh, yeah, so all the line work was in Vector. And then all the color is in. There's a lot of shading, a lot of highlights in his mustache and his beard that I'm not really seeing very well. I know it's there because I, because I'm looking for it. But I was really proud yeah, of the, uh, the attention in the beard, and I you can't really see it. Mm. Oh well, it's I'm interesting. Just blown away by how many details you got in there. Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, the, like Wilt is a, a really interesting character. Anyways, he, he like I don't know. I think he represents a lot of topical things for kids and for people seeing like this i don't know like this the the amputee the beat up you know amputee who, who loves bat you know who, basketball player type you know i don't know i think it's um i don't know maybe i'm reading too much into it but that's as soon as i thought about it he was the first one i remember because i thought it'd be it'd be interesting i mean he's like the sweetest character in the whole entire thing mm-hmm. besides Iguato, because yeah. he's like the yes man i think there was only one time he ever said no and golly, I think it was a whole episode dedicated to him saying yes to everything, and then finally he said no. <laughs> See, I... there was um, there was a a character. He was a, a, a um, and I guess in a, in a way, as far as like making decisions on what he actually looked like, there was um, I want to say there was one basketball player. He was he was Scottish. He didn't expect to have that thick Scottish accent, so I thought I was like, if I could, if I could translate his red fuzz or whatever it is, you know, into you know, mm-hmm. so big billowy Scotsman. Anyways, now you just yeah. pointed out a lot of things of why, like a lot of a lot of children's cartoons are just dumb and full of junk. <laughs> this one does have a lot of deeper meaning i think and like each imaginary friend you can tell probably what that child needed by what they put into it they're all very mm-hmm. detailed yeah yeah oh yeah <clears throat> very nice i'm glad you pointed out the eyebrows i think that's my favorite <laughs> part now because it, do- it is his eye thing. yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. you did a good job Thank you. bringing in the designs yeah, yeah. Okay, there's eight of you tonight, so sponsor break. 
which means I have to share a screen, which I hate. <laughs> You can do it. Uh, this episode is brought to you. I just, I, I just download the image, but yeah, if you right click on it and select open a new tab and just share that tab, then or share the window with that tab open, you see, I share the window with the tab open, but then it blocks the Facebook Live that I'm watching, and I don't know what everyone's seeing. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> but clever kaiju we'll talk about first and i'm um, gary you can explain it the best well i mean all of you guys can but gary uh, tell us about clever kaiju <laughs> oh God. well nate and i are uh two of the four heads uh uh clever kaiju and eric is also a very close member of ours who is from Tulsa. He was with us at Air Capital this weekend, but we are an art collective that focuses on art and education. Um, we have a community on Discord. If you go to our Facebook, you can join our Discord. Uh, we have everything from uh, show and tell feedback, uh, discussions about illustration. I think we're working on um, getting more demos put together. Uh, what else do we have, Nate? We have our YouTube. Uh, yeah, yeah, we're we're building uh, the foundation for uh, it with YouTube for a lot of like one on one, uh, like informative videos ranging from, you know, uh, tools to uh, programs to techniques to mental health of artists. Um, basically, we want to make a collection of uh, of YouTube videos featuring us and, and the community uh, as an outreach for educational purposes and and. Uh, as well as like opening up doors for there's actually a lot of things we have planned later on. I don't know. We, I don't know if we're ready to talk about them quite yet, but for now it's a community of, of outreach. Um, and uh, yeah, that's <laughs> you're right. The Discord. Yeah. If you're a professional or aspiring artist, whatever, come join the discord. Um, the community set for everyone to just help each other out. Um, Cause that's the main goal and even connect people who are looking for work in some instances too. So yeah, and follow them better. on Facebook and follow them on Instagram. They just oh, yeah. you guys put up some great stuff from um, your con this weekend on Instagram. Oh, thank you. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. <laughs> Jealous I couldn't go. <laughs> yeah, the Discord is super fun. Sweet. Oh, 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 I do have to say one more thing. If you guys are, I think all you guys are on the Discord. If you haven't seen it yet, and when you get on the Discord, Eric did this uh, cover for his book, Truck Stop Hipsters, and it's, like, painted. And then he, like, just finished it. I think it was, like, was it today he finished it? Oh, or nice. yesterday? He, he finally what? retired. And he was, like, I'm done with this. That's a, that's a, <laughs> that's a big piece of bravery right there because he did yeah. it all, like, on the same piece. Like, he drew it, painted it, Whoa. and then inked it. Yeah, exactly. Oh, wow. Exactly. Because I would have had to repeat it. He traveled a bit. He brought like it to the con. <laughs> Whoa, holy crap. Yeah, he got to see it in person at the con dude. before he finished it. It's like but, this thing's been around. He's been yeah, working hard at it. It's ridiculously good. So, yeah, go to the Discord and check that out, too. Sorry, Deanna. No, that's all right. That That's what you just said, that he you colored and inked it and drew everything all on one shot, on one paper. Yeah, yeah. Things like the pin click. This is where I hear these backstories like this, and I'm more amazed even than just seeing the finished piece of art, you know? It, I love these backstories. And it did look awesome, I saw it. <laughs> Next up, I've got Billy the Squid. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right, let me, find, let me find his picture. <laughs> and Chris, do you want to tell us about him while I share this? Well, here's the thing. I can't tell you a damn thing about him. I am not. <laughs> I am not a person who watches the show. I've seen little bits of it and enjoyed it. It's. I thought. I thought it was really good. But uh, I know nothing about it. So I thought. Well, instead of acting like I'm not a poser, why don't I just go full poser and make up my own thing? So uh, am I screen sharing? Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Uh, oh, is that something that it, do I share it or do you? Oh share yeah, it? yeah. Do you have, do you have a book? Yeah. Okay, so I don't one second. <laughs> you make me do it, I'll I'll spoil the rest of it. But I can if you need me to. <laughs> okay. One second. I just gotta figure out how to do it. <laughs> I'm used to, I'm used to Discord. Yeah, Billy yeah. the Squid was one I didn't know. He's a 
big background character. Yep. He shows up in a ton of different of the um, cartoons. I mean, on a couple of the episodes. If I remember, he always spoke with a lisp or something. Really? Yeah. That yeah. sounds familiar. But I didn't, he was, go for it. I didn't look up a damn thing. Uh, <laughs> but, you know what? There's my reference. I think I'm just going to go in. And uh, so what is my screen up? Yeah, yeah, your reference is there. All it's right. Great. So here we go. Nice. (laughs) You captured the personality perfectly. (laughs) (laughs) The fake arms are the best. Yeah. Does he have pants on? No. Oh no, he doesn't. Have- <laughs> I- He's even got the sun on, okay? his <laughs> <laughs> And you put socks on the sandals. You put oh, yeah. socks and sandals on the butt. So, <laughs> Not so even Michael the Squid is a true weekend warrior and an absolute pervert, but he's a nice pervert. <laughs> <laughs> What he does in the club hurts nobody, okay? So, like, I don't the redeeming feature is that he's a nice pervert. He's just not just a straight pervert. He's he's a nice, kind of gentle pervert. Exactly. He's, he's wearing sandals now because he wants to be considerate of the carpet and the upholstery. Normally, he'd be wearing roller skates. 70s style roller skates. Oh my god! So, <laughs> I, I like it. I can see his underwear line too. Oh you know? no, yeah, like his, his tan. Yeah. Oh, just the the. I still can't get over the face. <laughs> oh yeah, he's oh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> he's got problems. He's sweating. His you know, I'm just looking at people and just like, hey guys. Well, you know, it's this? it's hard times for Bill. You know, he has to do a lot of. Uh, he has to do all kinds of weird things to get money, you know. So like, <laughs> he does he does a lot of it, uh, you know, the little experiments that like Big Farmer will do. Well, they'll, they'll oh. be like, hey, fifty bucks, mm. and you can take this medicine. Well, it's <laughs> been it's been approximately forty five weeks, and his skin has still not gone back to its pallid. <laughs> He's still stuck with the pink skin, but hey, you know, everything's a positive in Billy's world. You know? Yeah, and now he can he go the hair and like work at Nickelodeon leaf. to be mm. cosplaying as Patrick, too. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Perfect. His Billy fake arms are the that. best. <laughs> no, 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 the hair oh, is he a nice wants to be a split too. so bad. Like... <laughs> <laughs> Imagine if I had four head. arms. <laughs> just imagine. You played Splatoon way too much. <laughs> <laughs> if those other two arms were real, maybe he could have actually pulled down his pants. <laughs> oh, no. That's not what he'd be doing with the extra arms. Trust oh, me. no, no. no. <laughs> <laughs> he'll be playing the belly drum the whole time. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. See, you got it. You got it. <laughs> <laughs> he would play himself in everywhere he goes. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, that is so beautiful. Oh, my gosh. Um, <laughs> hi, Sarah. Sarah made it into the chat. She couldn't join us tonight. Hi, I'm Sarah. Feeling better. Sarah. Sarah says it's so Sarah, upsetting. It's so upsetting. It's well so done. Upsetting. <laughs> For me, the sweat is the most upsetting part. Yes. <laughs> That's She's the most so upsetting. Upset, yeah. Oh, my no, God. No, it's the pantsless. The, the belly's just hiding what we don't want to see. It, it's all anatomy, okay? Like, don't be hating on Billy, you know? He gets out on the weekend. Yeah. He has fun. Hey, you can be him. <laughs> I don't need to see it. Valid. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm sure you guys would probably like it if I stopped screen sharing. So I know it's beautiful in his own. Uh, I just want to leave on this note here. (laughs) (laughs) And if you're just tuning in, welcome to the (laughs) (laughs) show. This is so proud of himself. He's like, look at my tape. This is on. what happens here on this show. <laughs> That's right. This is this what is, happens. This is what has <laughs> happened. Oh, oh yeah. Has definitely happened. <laughs> this, what was it? Oh, that match last month. Oh, yeah. Haley came up with my favorite word for the episode: scare roused. <laughs> I really think this hits that bar. <laughs> it's oh, the return of the Y boner. 
<laughs> oh gosh. Oh, boy. oh my. And well, with that, he's going to drop the mic and probably head out. <laughs> he's like, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I've got our next one. I think this one's a little sweeter. This is Coco. Oh, you want me to follow up after that? <laughs> we need, we need, I, I see that. Need a it's beautiful. Yeah, I was going to say that, Nate. <laughs> <laughs> let, me, let me share a picture of Coco really quickly. Got to some coffee beans in the perfume store. Right. Who, who, can, who can do the voice for Coco? Coco, Coco. Literally all she says. And did you know that actually the voice of Coco does the voice of Madam Foster as well? I am filled with useless information. (laughs) I know that now. (laughs) Is that Greg Griffin? Hmm? Does she do the voice, Greg Griffin? I don't know off the top of my head. She was was supposed to come to Vision Con before it didn't happen. And I, I it's possible. She did one of the voices. That might have been it. Oh, I wouldn't doubt it. I mean, the whole entire series, she didn't say anything besides Coco, which was phenomenal. And apparently she was supposed to be like an airplane slug whenever it came to the concept art, but they decided to go with a bird instead. Well, no, they did both. Because the body is a plane. Oh, yeah. Yeah. (laughs) You had the the sample. I I did. I was all ready to go. (laughs) Oh my goodness. Very cool. Oh. <laughs> oh, <laughs> it even has a flight fin. Yeah. That's adorable. <laughs> That's adorable. That's awesome. That's so cute. Oh, it's so, the what necklace. Was? It's one yeah. of the eggs she lays. <laughs> so um yes, yeah, so it's been a it's been a minute since I've seen Fosters. Uh, so I did a little bit of research. Um, <laughs> and that uh, she was created by a little girl who was a Band, like who is abandoned on a deserted island so that's kind of the the story behind coco for those who were unaware so going back to the original design you've got like the palm tree um and this is supposed to be an airplane like the body's supposed to be a blue airplane uh, yeah. but then it kind of also looks like a weird duck so <laughs> <laughs> um <laughs> It, which Coco lays eggs in the show. So uh, so I kind of, you know, tried to pull in a few of those elements. Um, I've got, you know, I've got like the little pilot wings for the airplane, yeah. um, the plastic egg. Kind of gave her some like duck lips. <laughs> yeah. Um, oh, yeah. All the uh, nice. Yeah. Um, the big eyes with the big eyelashes um that we see in her original design and then the uh the way i posed her too was uh kind of reminiscent to this bird shape with the wings <laughs> yeah um yeah and then gave her some uh orange leggings to go under her shorts i love her coat so much yeah it's oh very gosh. creative I, I love how you translated yeah. like little details into Cause that Thanks. the body of it is it like I thought it was like a whale or a shark. Or... Yeah, it's kind of a weird, ambiguous like airplane yeah. slash fish looking thing. <laughs> but you translated it really well, especially when you put the airline the the airline badge there just just to kind of yeah that was that's clever. So sweet. Yeah. See that she seems so sweet. And, mm-hmm. Like it's a shy little girl, and then I just imagine her screaming. Come Right. So, yeah, I kind of went back and like uh, fruit her brows just a little bit because she's kind of like a weird moody character (laughs) half the time in the show. So, uh, yeah, I love her necklace because it makes it look like the rings of her, well, palm tree head. Yeah, I love that. Yeah, 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 I I noticed that too. Yeah, I I had a lot of fun with this. You guys are amazing. (laughs) <laughs> yeah this is a fun challenge so especially taking such a weird abstract character mm-hmm. yeah uh, how'd you go about uh your process for this um so yeah i just uh i kind of i worked fully in photoshop um i've got a bajillion layers because <laughs> <laughs> so the way i that's the way i roll um But uh, yeah, it started with just um, a basic sketch and then uh, painted kind of underneath the sketch and then a little bit on top. Uh, You can kind of see some of my layers. Uh, 
Your, na- your layers are really neat, though. Yeah, I <laughs> I merged some of them to make them a little bit easier. Um, uh, at one point, I I merged so I could shift some of the colors easier, but uh, <laughs> there were a lot more at one point. <laughs> but she doesn't name them, so she no. No, I sure don't. <laughs> <laughs> if I was doing, really put away. if you I was doing client me. work, I would be a little bit more organized with them. But for myself, I I generally just <laughs> don't bother. <laughs> to the win on that one. I remember when Photoshop updated to where they're like, oh, you actually see the layers oh. now. They're not just squares. You actually get to see them. I'm like, oh, good. I don't have to name them anymore. Yeah. <laughs> so at one point, like I did, I did, I did. Um, I, I did group like everything so I could throw down like a multiply, uh, kind of multiply and like overlay layer on top of everything. And then I put like a texture on top as well. So, um, yeah. yeah. And I just, Very well done. thanks. Very yes. Yeah, yeah, I love it. Translation. That's good. I, I noticed, uh, yeah, I asked him because I noticed that like it looks a bit more painterly. Like I noticed yeah. the season, yeah. last season that you got more painterly with some of your work. Yeah, it's it's definitely an area that I'd like to get better in. So oh, it's looking great. That's what I, I was gonna say. It, it's looking great yeah. for sure. That's why I was like, oh, cool. This looks. This looks it's cool. very relaxing yeah. to look at. I like, oh, enjoy you. looking at it. Yeah, <laughs> like on a gut on a gut level, I'm like, this is nice. <laughs> very very nice. Guys, yeah, after his show, palette I'm cleanser. Nice. No. Yeah, yes. Everybody yeah. it's calm and, and cool. Yeah. And I want you to keep her far away from Billy's perverted ways. Yes. <laughs> He's a nice pervert. He I want to show you yeah. my hair. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> She's probably carrying like some pepper spray on her or something. I'm sure. So, oh, so guys, you know, the egg is pepper spray right around yeah, the neck. Just yeah, yeah. Wishes it down. <laughs> but you know, those eggs always had in them what you needed most at the time. Oh yeah, That's true. Yeah. You know, Billy always knew you guys wouldn't understand. He's not even like that, you know. <laughs> it sounds like we have our own show in the making. <laughs> oh, totally. I would love to see that. Um, Sarah says so cute. Oh, thanks, um, Sarah. David's here. Hi, Dave. He, I missed that comment. Hey, Chris, yeah, he says, yeah. Chris reached down deep for that level of disturbing. <laughs> but did he though? Did like, see, he deep? I think they tried <laughs> asking the real questions here. <laughs> uh, you know, I'll I'll just say to David that like I've always got something locked and loaded. Like <laughs> I've seen a lot, man. <laughs> I've seen a lot, man. Slowly Throw zooms in onto his face. I've seen a oh, lot. it's it's funny you say that. I've isolated a picture of this guy's eye. <laughs> this, uh, oh, I guess I'll post that in the comments. Oh. <laughs> we'll see in the comments below. Just to, when you go to oh, sleep, Lord. remember Billy. <laughs> Yeah. Watching always. Oh, no. Just when you think it couldn't get worse, guess what? Oh, Billy. Oh, it's time <laughs> for another sponsor break. I can't. I can't post while the stream's going. So. Uh, oh, you can't. <laughs> wait for it later, guys. <laughs> I was about Just to say. wait. <laughs> um, what am I doing? I'm trying to share a screen for our next sponsor, Playco Games. Oh, I know about them. <laughs> <laughs> there it is there it is do you like building civilizations surviving dinosaurs or drinking hero tea if so go buy our games <laughs> Christmas is no coming way. up um, www.playcogames.com if you're here in town at Metagames Carl's always got them on stock for us and he knows how to find us if he doesn't um, and yeah that's us Fun games, family friendly, 12 and up for some of them. Um, and I want to share if I can find where I dropped it. James Rutherford, who's usually here with us, um, made this animation for me. Ooh. Oh, yeah. yeah, big shout out to James. By yeah, the big, way. big shout out to James. He's uh, all right. He's been so busy and working so hard, but every time there's been an opportunity, like, oh man, we could really use this. He's like, oh, by the way. 
like a couple days later, there's something in our in our folders yeah. for us. He's like leaving little presents of yeah, he's hmm. a beast. Yeah, essentially. Oh no, it's not. Well, okay, that's up. Hit share screen, and it disappears. Is it in full screen mode? It was. Um, try to do it in window mode. See what happens. I don't know how. Oh, there. <laughs> I only work on a computer all day. Here it is. <laughs> Thank you. All right. Oh, dog. Here we go. It's quick, but it's adorable. There's my logo Ooh. on the die. Yeah. Nice. Yay. Very nice. And that was an advertisement nice. for a new place coming soon. <laughs> Very nice. Oops. No, I gotta get them to sponsor that. us. <laughs> they make a phone call. Yeah. Uh soon you got soon everybody uh will see the uh the, the clever kaiju logo. He did a uh an animation for it and it's cool because you as Ooh. it's turning, you see it hand well, almost looks like it's being hand drawn as it's turning. Nice. And then it takes and it's so cool. So I paired her logo with ours back to back at the opening credits just before Deanna starts on episode one. I'm, I'm sorry. I just finished it today. I'm excited to talk about it. But if I can get approval from the others before before we release it, I want to make sure that everybody is, is, is okay with it. But it, it gets, it I, get, like I get choked up at the very end, the way the music fits over it and our logos like come together. I get choked up every time. I almost want to cry every time. So. So I, I think it's Nate's in the folder. It's in the folder. It's in the drive. I'm serious. Go and go and look at it. it I want to see. I want to see what you guys. Well, let's wait till the show's over. Yeah, no, we will. <laughs> Unfortunately, I do We're believe the show is it, over for me. Oh no, Chris! Aww. Thank you for Thanks, coming guys. this long. Um, yeah, real man. quick, um, hit your plug zone for us. Where can yeah. everybody find you and more of your awesome work? The good stuff and the creepy stuff. Um, well, there's my Instagram, which uh, is uh, y- your shows, buddy. I'm seeing my kids coming in to tell me that <laughs> it's time to go. <laughs> um, uh, the underscore illustrator underscore yar is my uh, Instagram. It's pretty much my everything, my art station and everything. Um, I think the link is in the chat or in the Facebook post. But uh, that's my you know personal Instagram and the art station I share art to. That's, that's usually... My most up to date stuff, except I always forget to post to Instagram. But um, and then beyond that, um, just go to attackwagon.com. Uh, we're working on a game called um, Scrap Guilds. It's a fantasy sci-fi game about um scrapping junk in space. Uh, Gary's working Ooh. on it too. He's one of our concept <coughs> artists. Um, <laughs> it's it's scheduled for quarter two of next year. And we're getting ready to do our own crypto release this month on the 29th. And uh, so I'm currently I'm currently just pumping out paintings for the trailer because the trailer's all motion paintings. And it's it's been a gauntlet. But uh, yeah, go to attackwagon.com, check us out. You can see what our team's about. You can see everything that we've done. And uh, yeah, those are my plugs. Thank you very much. Awesome. Thanks Love for coming. You tonight, thank Chris. you so much, man. Dude, thanks You're for amazing. having me, guys. It was coming, thank dude. you so much. Yeah, it was really fun. And I love all the work. And uh, I'm looking forward to seeing everybody else's. Uh where and where is that posted in the Discord? It's in the uh the Clever Kaiju uh uh, uh YouTube and uh Vision Con, right? Yeah, and I will put it in Clever Kaiju's um I'll make a, a Facebook album. For oh, this nice. month and That's last awesome. month, because I forgot last month. Oh, okay, cool. Ooh. Yeah, um, but yeah, thanks, guys, and I'll see you around. All right, see you soon. Thanks for coming. Thank you. Bye. All right, I have the next one, but I just saw in the chat, Mike Needham says, "Cool games." (laughs) Yeah, yeah. games. We should just do an episode where we're just playing the games. (laughs) We need to play the games. Yeah, I I have one of them. I have one of them over here. The other two, I keep. I keep. Everybody keeps running out before I get to it. Oh. That's all right. Back <laughs> to Foster's. Eduardo. 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 The sweetest one of the bunch. <laughs> Do you have a, a photo of him from the show or you want me to share? 
I, I don't actually have a picture of him from the show. Let me show him real quick. But I have no idea what he looks like. I never cared. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I thought you were saying that, Nate. Huh? <laughs> I thought oh, it was coming yeah. from you. <laughs> I don't really care about this character at all. <laughs> I drew him, but I don't care. <laughs> I here make is one a, up. Here so is adorable. Eduardo. Oh, my goodness. He's so hardcore, but not. Look at him. Yeah, Eric <laughs> I remember right. His creator was a or is a police officer now or something like that. What? Yeah, she's a police officer. I, I you meet her in one of the episodes. Can't remember what her name was, but she's a legit police officer. Dude, you watched way more than I did. Oh, this is also coming from I just watched the 107 fun facts about Foster Home for Imaginary <laughs> Friends. But apparently, she created him because she wanted to. She grew up in like a really terrible neighborhood or something like that. Wanted something big and scary to scare off people. Turns out he's sweet. Yeah, it kind of backfired. <laughs> oh well. <laughs> well, Eric, show us show us him human. So, uh, first of all, you'll have to let me into the meeting right quick. And then... Oh yeah. <laughs> Joining. Here we go. Here come the calm. He <laughs> found a scatter. Run! <laughs> All right. FBI, open up. <laughs> Here we go. So I've got more of the. <laughs> <laughs> it gives me gorillas vibes. I love it. So I mean, it was meant to be more done in my uh, my new hipster style that I'm working up. But uh, yeah, I went through uh, several different variations on the face right quick before uh, before I found something that I liked. Um, I don't know. <laughs> it's so terrible. They all work. It's cute. I love the beanie and uh, and the, is that a hoodie on one of them? Um, don't think I put in in a hoodie, but yeah, it was. Uh, I don't know. I found. Uh, bit of a challenge trying to make those teeth look friendly so <laughs> valid. <laughs> valid but you did <laughs> it reminds me of the uh, tech deck when it goes to the faces I love it so much it gives me so much nostalgia the solid oh. unibrow <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah, those, uh, those old blind decks where May have actually been a little bit of inspiration for the uh, the skull I've been using for a while. Yeah, um, yeah, the uh, the slouchy beanie, the luchador pants, super cool. The balloon. <laughs> the balloon. I just love you holding a balloon. Yeah, I think that was actually inspired by my uh, my illustration of uh, Pennywise. <laughs> nice. Oh. Uh, nice. Let's see. No, I, he totally, he's Eduardo because he looks like he could kick your butt and you'd be scared of him. But his face <laughs> is so sweet and that balloon just shows you. Yeah, he's bringing you a balloon. <laughs> yeah. It looks like he could kill you, but he's bringing you a balloon. <laughs> Can you zoom in on it a little? Yeah. I need glasses. So. Love the, I, I still love those different versions. Me too. Mm -hmm. I yeah. love yeah. seeing the Sarah. actual. Oh, wow. Sarah's I like the one with the nose uh, piercing. Sarah says, I love all your mm -hmm. concepts. Yeah. I mean, each yeah. one is, is adorable in their own way. I like the short little squatty one that's towards the bottom there. Almost looks yes. like Mario ish. Uh -huh. like that. <laughs> yeah. There's, there's something about the horns that remind me of Bowser. Just right. a little bit. Yeah. And then the Mario's ears being lower and fatter like that. Like. Mm -hmm. <laughs> The top it's nice left to see the beanie. thought process. The top left beanie is definitely one of my favorites. <laughs> it is. Mm -hmm. That's a good one. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I thought the one on the, like, the far left on the bottom, I thought maybe you had like instead of a beanie, it was more of a hoodie, but I, unless it's a slouchy beanie. Yeah. Uh, I think I'm, yeah. Either way, I, that's those are both clever. Just to get the sheer size of it, but not make them like... Mm -hmm. Think you chose wisely. Yeah. That's my you favorite. Did. Oh, freaking gorgeous! <laughs> I like how you always draw consistently in this style. It's really fun to see, yeah. like everything you draw in this style. It's really cool. Thank you. Um, yeah, it's kind of becoming a thing, and I'm 
actually having a ton of fun with it. So I'm just going to keep running with it. <laughs> so the, the hipster, you, you call it your hipster style. Is that, is that a, a term that you coined or is there, is there a his, like story behind it? Cause there's other things that I have seen. In fact, right away, it was just like, Oh man, it's like, so gorillas are, you know, but it's still uniquely yours. And it's like, I, you know, I've only heard you use, use the, the hipster term. Is that, is that accurate? So, I mean, when uh, when my writer sent me the script for Truck Stop Hipsters, I decided, all right, so this is oh. the direction we're going with this. And, you know, when I started talking to people uh, referring to, you know, what I'm doing with my illustration, you know, I've got my traditional, here's my hardcore anatomical, this looks like a real person style. And so mm -hmm. when I start explaining what I'm doing with this new stuff, it's just easier to call it the hipster style. Right. In <laughs> reference to the hipster truck stop hipster. Yes, that's correct. Yeah. <laughs> gotcha. Yeah. So he's yeah. shirtless, but I'm not intimidated. Like I just <laughs> have to him and talk to him. Honestly, if I saw him on the side of the road, I might go up and give him a hug. Yeah. <laughs> Better you than me. I'd be like, well, he's got a balloon. It's just like everything else. It's like an actual human me, like, belt buckle, but that's okay. It's like whenever you see somebody walking a puppy. I mean, no matter how murderous they look, they could be looking like Pennywise, and you'll still walk up to him and it's like, oh, puppy. <laughs> that's the vibe that it gives me. I, I really like how uh, how this really lends itself to animation, which I you and I talked about that when we were in Wichita last week. But um, a lot of stuff really lends itself to animation especially the mm -hmm. stuff that i saw for truck stop hipsters so i really it, you know caitlin's right you know i agree you know i love seeing you working this way as well it's yeah really i want to i'd love to get my hands on some of your work and make like puppets of it and do like little <laughs> little hips, hipster clips i think it'd be cute yes well, <laughs> next convention i want to see puppets <laughs> right. Shadow puppets. <laughs> well, I brought yeah, I brought I brought some of them to last one, and you know, it was mostly me <laughs> dancing in front of the camera. But you know, <laughs> <laughs> look, it's a lot of a to ask, you know, of people to stop and like play with my cartoons, and like, no, we're playing. <laughs> 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 okay. Well, you know. right. well, I've got three pieces of paper left. Bum bum bum. Mr. Harriman. Oh, Ooh. there he is. All right. Was that you, Chad? Uh, yeah, it's mine. Okay. Do you have a, a photo of Mr. Harriman, or would you like me to show one? Uh, I do not have a photo, like super handy. All right. I got Mr. Harriman coming up. He runs everything. This is this is Miss Foster's imaginary friend. Freaking amazing character. Yeah. He really is. He really yes. is. He was very fun to draw. This is the one, okay. This is the one that had me laughing out loud when I opened it. I can't wait for you to share. Okay, this. I I'm prepared. Are you ready, Corey? This is what I wouldn't share I am with you. So prepared. So I thought it was Yars. You're like, it looked like you were blushing. I was like, was it Yars that you caught? But all right, I'm just all right. Here, here we go. <laughs> You guys see it? Oh my goodness. <laughs> 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 episode, two pantsless dudes, man. <laughs> At least mine's covered up. I know, yeah. With the <laughs> sensor. He's modestly fuzzy, though. Oh. And we drew a children's show. <laughs> So when I was thinking of the name, you know, Mr. Harryman, I was like, well, Mr. Harry Man, you know? So yes. <laughs> but they, they made the reference that it's a rabbit. And then yeah, you were just like, well, how do I yeah? That's clever. <laughs> so yeah, I I was gonna draw my pants, but I just I couldn't do it. But it's just like not in the original character, so Yeah. <laughs> And, it's like, it's, and, he, and he takes the, he, he jumps directly in front to cover him up like that that's a heroic blue that is I a very heroic chest here was, was covering it nope <laughs> nope mm -mm. 
<laughs> just nope. <in> case, yeah. <laughs> he's like he's mad. Like this has happened before. <laughs> I I want to take like say I appreciate that his sides are very well shaven while the center right. is <laughs> His happy trail went all the way up. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Golly. Yeah, you know. oh, that is oh, my goodness. Oh. Uh, that is perfect. <laughs> so I, d- I did this traditionally. It's uh, a-, a lot of times I do digital, but um, for this, I did traditional. It's India ink with a brush, and then I use some generic Copic markers to color it. Mm. And the, the colors well done, are a little off, but uh, from the original. It's, this is a little more yellow. Yeah, that sometimes that translate. When you scan, did you scan it in? Yep, I did. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, that's. I don't know, man. Yeah, this is, so, <laughs> the little dialogue mm-hmm. bubbles are fun, and and the the dryer here I added like last thing. Yeah, I, was, no, no, just, no. I was about to say that dryer <laughs> is useful too. That is a perfect addition, man. That was last minute. <laughs> Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Chris, oh. don't let me down now. And then when you when you posted it, my man, another pantless wonder. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate uh, also that you threw blue in there because nobody picked blue as their character. Uh, I know. Oh, no. He's, yeah. he's a booger. Just I he debated really hard to I was debating on doing blue, but then I was just like, you know what? I want to find a character that I don't, I like, I don't even remember. And yeah, <laughs> yeah. no, this was fun. I, I enjoyed just assumed it. someone was gonna get him. So. Yeah, this is a uh, yeah. <laughs> this is a hell of a debut, man. I like this one. A freaking yeah, love it. His right. face just screams Harry. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Oh my god. It does, and he looks completely clueless as to the fact that blue needs yeah. to cover him up. He's just senile. <laughs> He's got hobbit feet. <laughs> All righty. Thank you, man. Very well done. That was awesome. Great introduction. You get to come back. You get to come back. <laughs> hey, they didn't invite me ever back. I just go yeah. up. He just keeps showing up. Yeah, we just took him. He's a hacker. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I hijack somebody else's email and take their invite. That's how you do it. <laughs> All right. Well, time for another sponsor break. We had just enough artists that I could do it every two artists. <laughs> sponsor break. Mm. Nice. Sponsor break. Let's get Amazing. It. Let's get sponsor break. No. <laughs> <laughs> you guys need to put these songs together. We've got Vision Con Pop Culture Convention. Um, they've they are part of how we got started. Gary did an interview. He said, hey, I'd love to do an art show. I said, hey, I'd love to host that art show. And here we are. <laughs> <laughs> and Vision Con's getting ready to come back April 29th through May 1st. Ooh. Um, they will soon be debuting a brand new logo done by Mr. Gary Bedell. Ooh. It's ready. We're just waiting to unveil it. Um, I believe the next glimpse, their live um, update show may be I keep looking at the screen, not the camera. I even make notes not to do that. Um, (laughs) Next update show, I think they're going to reveal it. Um, Actually, it has been posted somewhere. If you maybe check Facebook or Instagram or Twitter or the website, you might see it early. (laughs) One of those places. But um, yeah, check out their Facebook page, events page. Um, Zach's always doing interviews. And I, they'll have a lot of interesting stuff coming up because the con is getting closer. Almost time for live cons. Yay! Woot woot. So Yay. visioncon dot dog on it. I think it is visioncon.com or visioncon.net or visioncon.org. If you go to their Facebook, <laughs> One of those three. If you go to their Facebook page, every time I'm in front of this camera, I go blank. It's, it's visioncon.net. Yeah, it is. Thank you. Yeah. Who was it we had on the show last time? Um, Isaac Hayes? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 It, it was like we were in the car on the way to Kansas, and then I was like, oh, by the way, he immediately, yes, I watched the episode. <laughs> <laughs> so it's like, okay, so you get it. We can make this joke now. We can... <laughs> 
Yeah. All right. So who do we think it'll be? Corey or Gary? Corey or Gary? Both. Well, Gary no. can't go last. So well, no. this <laughs> time did it. Oh, not Gary's not going last. <laughs> Duchess. Duchess. I am so glad you decided to take her. She is creepy as I'll get it. Do you want me to share a photo of her? Uh, actually, I've got one. You got one? Yeah, so she you know. is something else. I think uh, deep down you were probably hoping that I would get this one. Do you guys see my screen at all? Oh, she's <laughs> beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. So that's like the, the cartoon. I, oh, and again, like Yarbro, I knew very, very little to nothing about this show. And I just kind of assumed that she was a villainous character because she just she looked the part. <laughs> kind of. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Did you look up a video? Yeah, Did you hear her like, voice? Oh, gosh. Uh, it's... She's off. <laughs> <laughs> she does have like Elvira kind of look to her. Yeah. Apparently, she Picasso. was inspired by like Pablo Picasso and stuff like yeah. that. <laughs> oh, yeah. I could see that. Yeah. <laughs> I can definitely <laughs> see that. Like the hard angles and stuff. Mm -hmm. Yep. She's the uh, only 2D character, actually, in the whole entire show. Oh, really? Oh, that's right. Yeah, because she's legit 2D. She's flat in the show, but everybody else is supposedly has, like, a 3D structure, but yeah. she's the only one that's 2D. Oh, that's super so She's weird. always facing left or right, exactly yep. like this. It's really awkward. <laughs> that's really bizarre. It's, See, it's like, we don't that. have the budget for a dimension, so... Exactly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sucks to be you. They didn't make it's too fabulous, darling. She doesn't need it. Uh, <laughs> I took a couple. Literally, if I had to put together all the time I took on it, it was probably like two hours. Uh, so you'll probably still see some of my sketch lines underneath this. But I took her and took like just like a villainous, almost like Corella Deville route with her. Ooh. Oh, yeah, I like she it. looks like she's gonna tell me my fortune and say, yeah. "Oh, how unfortunate!" <laughs> or knife you to death. <laughs> Basically, both. She's like, "Oh, it looks like you have a dark future." What do you mean, stab? <laughs> <laughs> what do you? Oh, oh, I'm never wrong. It looks like you're gonna meet an unfortunate fate. What do you mean, stab? Never wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that eye uh, do I pay you oh. here or at the front? Okay. <laughs> Freak it. Oh, gosh. She's good. <laughs> it is giving me uh -oh. Corella DeVille mixed with Ursula vibes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel like there's a glowing um, seance magic <laughs> ball in front of her. <laughs> That's the... the ah! Nice. Nice. <laughs> Layer 80. Yeah, <laughs> layer eight hundred and fifty-five. Exactly. See, this is like, yeah, that's how I roll my layers. But, I think uh, he has, I think he has a layer for every variant of green in the fade. <laughs> no, just one. This is the just cool one. Uh, Look at you. <laughs> I'll just took that and then painted over that. Mm -hmm. uh, when I'm trying to work fast, especially like the way I had to today and earlier this morning. Uh, I just try to do a rough sketch and I paint behind it all the colors that I need and then I just start piling the shit on top. Uh, just kind of hide my lines and where I can. Uh, and then I just add like paint effects to it. Um, or lighting effects, excuse me. Uh, if I would have had maybe about another hour, uh, I would have done a little bit more refining, but uh, I'm satisfied for what it is though, and I had fun doing it. Especially for a yeah. character I didn't even yeah. know. I, I can it. hear that voice coming out of her. She, yeah. she yeah. portrays Ooh. it well. <laughs> um, Sarah chimes <laughs> in. She's getting Dr. Frankenfurter vibes. Just a yeah, sweet yeah, yeah. Just yes. <laughs> it's just we drunk them to the lab. <laughs> I gave her the, I do. I gave her the cheeks. Like the, the, the cheeks kind of like that too. Like Tim yep. Curry. Sarah, you're you're absolutely right. Very Tim Curry in the eyes and the lips. Yes, there it. Is. That's it. Yeah, it was, was like on the slab. Did you use like a reference for the face, or did you just? I just, just drew it. I was like, she has to have yeah. high cheekbones and like mm -hmm. a longer face. Mm. She's got the longer nose. Yeah, yeah. it's perfect. Yeah. Oh my gosh, that eye makeup's killing me, man. I can just see a, a 
A real person Ooh. with that caked on. Yeah. 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 I actually used to go to high school with somebody that had eye makeup basically like that, caked on every day. <laughs> And every time I was like, oh my gosh, why? And then I saw her mother. And then I realized where she got it from. <laughs> See, I went to high school with people like that too, but it was the 80s. So it was okay. Oh. Uh, <laughs> understandable. Yeah. Shout out to Caitlin from James Daly from Columbia. As in like Columbia, Missouri or Columbia, like Columbia? country. That's my dad. Hi, dad. Really? <laughs> yeah. Hi, dad. Wow. <laughs> Hello. Welcome in. We're, we're cool. international now. That's ah, cool. Yeah. <laughs> there's a Columbia, Missouri. There's an everything, Missouri. Like, there is. There's a Cuban, Missouri. Mm-hmm. There's different. a Uranus Texas. as well. <laughs> a, yeah, from Uranus. Like, the, oh, yeah, you can get wait, floods no, there. Uranus, Missouri? No, the planet. <laughs> <Stupid. Yeah>. no. <laughs> you can get okay. fudge and guns there. It's pronounced Uranus. <laughs> You guys, I want to I want to see all these real live versions like in a um, reality show house. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> not Billy! Don't let Billy in. That would be awesome, and I want to sit him right next to the Duchess. <laughs> oh, they probably have a thing. They would. They would have a thing. Have a thing yeah. going on against Billy's will. But I think they would have a good day. <laughs> That's the only one Billy would never touch. <laughs> oh. All right. Well, I guess anything for love, but he won't next do up, that. Sam Berger. Sam Berger. Okay. Sam Berger. So, you have like a I reference said, to show? Yes, I do. Okay. And I will definitely say that I personally did not know what this character was. I honestly could never remember <laughs> who this character was. I didn't and either. I was so confused. <laughs> so I, just knock out, I think I knocked out my own camera. Oh, well, it's fine. But then I was like, you know what? Let's have a little bit of fun with them. <laughs> <laughs> this right here is Sam Burger. For the longest time, I forgot that his name was Sam Burger. I thought it was Billy Burger. So oh, I yeah, decided a different burger him- entirely. Oh, yeah. I gave him his little hat because he's a freaking adorable character. Yeah. And basically, whenever I was sketching him, I was sketching him at what was a vintage Paris here in Branson. And my wife was sitting next to me. She goes, are you just drawing Mario? And I looked down. I was like, you know what? You're not wrong. wrong. It it does have that old, like, original Nintendo, like, um, arcade kind of there's something about it, but it's not Mario. Maybe it's a beer tapper. I can or... see that too. I think he's uh, Mario's long lost cousin. Like uncle. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh uncle. uncle maybe. I, lo- I oh. love it because it, it feels your line work feels very like John K mixed with yes. Disney. When you yeah. like, it's Thank like you. done like really. The, <laughs> but the mix is like perfect. It's like know, it's I like see, a I nice little, it's, it's like a li- nice little love baby of the two. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> a little bit of Ren and Stimpy there in the hands and the arm. Yeah. Oh yeah, I saw that That's he had. John K. Yeah, yeah. I, he had these little gloves, and I just had to go. Yes. Please, I have to translate these gloves, and I loved his shoes. But <laughs> the original sketch, if I can do this real quick. Oh, hit the wrong button. There we go, and let's pull it up. I don't tr- work with traditional as much as I used to, so now I'm trying to get back into it. So this guy, I actually did uh-huh. on a little sketchbook and everything like that. I was super happy. And I was using a red pencil. I had a little drafting pencil, which I was going to use, but I let my wife <laughs> use it while she was doodling something else. But yeah, basically, whenever it comes to him, I was going to do a like, because uh, Clipsio Paint allows you to do a time lapse type thing going on. Mm-hmm. But unfortunately, I forgot to hit record. So Aww. I don't have that anymore. So, but <laughs> there's a face there's a little bit of the color i was going to, i basically did something i normally never do and i put all the colors on one layer because i think i took thir- what was it no 30 minutes i think it was 30 minutes yeah it was 30 minutes because i had to do that real fast before i had um want to work on something for one of my clients but yeah that's sam Berger. I just wanted to make sure that his seeds would be his hair. Yeah. Oh, my God, that's so funny. oh nice. See, you got to zoom in. My blind eyes. Oh, I see. Yeah. That. You got some hair there. 
I noticed him about to pick his belly button. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Which is I was a cheese move, but hey, it works. <laughs> yeah, I was debating on whether or not to actually animate him scratching his stomach. But then I was just like, I got like 30 minutes. I, I'm not going to have enough time to animate him scratching his butt. I mean, his belly. <laughs> <laughs> But if this you feel great, like man. doing that later, we would love to see. It. Yeah, yeah. We'll, oh, I was already you can coming replace up with your little... avatar with it. Oh yeah. <laughs> what I was uh? Gonna... I was gonna ask what what uh what pen tool did you use in Clip? Is it okay. just the G pen or? I was using the mapping pen. Um, okay. I kind of tweaked the mapping pen a little bit. Um, give it a little bit more of a taper so that I can get those like really nice tips whenever it comes to certain lines. And I was going to do the line tool for the little hairs on his arm. But I was like, you know what? Freehanding it. I don't have enough time to go nitpicky. I'm just going to do that. And I just turned up the stabilizer tool and bada bing, bada boom. I would normally do my line work. Nice. Very cool. Looks like he uh, might be trying to pull something out of his belly button, too. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's the pickles. <laughs> <laughs> my, my, my. Gotta love it, gotta love it. Now I gotta figure out why is my camera not working? Uh oh. Oh no. Yay. Oh, there we go. There you are. I'm back. Magic. <laughs> All right, okay. sweet. That, that empties my container, sadly. These were so much fun. Um, I was trying to find, I over organized my desktop also and lose things. Pin click. Next month, I don't have the sample photo, so you guys don't get to see it. You have to go with my explanation. <laughs> I wanted, oh, first, sponsor number four, because we are a four sponsor show now. Da, 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 da. Da, da, da. We are nice. at um, Tremendicon. A three day multimedia media creators convention oh um, yeah coming to springfield june 17th through 19th um tremendicon.com you can sign up to be a sponsor you can buy a vendor booth you can buy a weekend pass because you know it's going to be awesome see before you even find out more um you can Find them active on Facebook right now. I believe there's a contest coming up maybe this weekend to keep an eye out for. Um, win some free season pass or season weekend passes. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, yeah, it's going to be really fun. Keep an eye on it because the people that watch this show are going to want to be involved with this con. So, thank you, Tremendicon. Stop, share. All right. Um, we did come in with enough time to do Magnus Studio. But first, I'm going to hit the plug zone. Um, everybody can tell us where we can find more of your amazing artistic creations. After that, I will tell everybody what we're doing next month. So let's go in the same order that we did. Let me see what it was. Nate, you're up first. Oh, I am Nate of uh, Nate Howard of Mammoth Press. Uh, I do graphic design and illustration. Um, mostly the graphic design and illustration I'm kind of absorbing into Clever Kaiju as a whole. Uh, so most of my Mammoth Press work that anybody's been following me has probably been with the uh, my new uh, tattoo uh, pathway. I'm, I'm now a licensed tattoo artist. The shop actually released a public statement officially. Uh, or like a couple days ago, so it's exciting. I'm at uh, uh, Body Creations Inc. on Sunshine and pretty much Glenstone. Um, so we'll, we'll <laughs> um, but uh, I still do the graphic design and illustration stuff. Uh, but um, also uh, the beautiful uh, arcade cabinet that's behind me that I designed and built myself called the Mammoth Press Multicade, where you'll find me Mondays and Wednesdays at seven. Uh, on uh, on twitch um <clears throat> also featured on youtube the mammoth press llc youtube channel that actually has a playlist of me of videos of me building the arcade cabinet 
but then also I've had a lot of um, uh, friends and, and fellow artists and, and creators come in and do like one-on-one interviews, including uh, Gary Bedell himself. He, he came in and stomped some high scores, but um, now that COVID's calmed down a little bit, or at least a little more comfortable, the world is opening up again. Um, I plan to have a, uh, start that whole series back up again, but um, besides the tattoos and um, again at Body Creations and the, the arcade on Mondays and Wednesdays on Twitch, um, I think I have everything covered. <laughs> I used to be really good at this, but I've switched up the switch it up so much. But yeah, thanks. <laughs> You're also doing a lot. <laughs> huh? You're also doing a lot. Yeah. 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 I know. <laughs> What was that? Yeah, no. No, no, it's it's right. It's, uh, it's, it's it's just that you know, just when I think I get a handle down and I get my my pitch down and I'm all like, yeah, I got a handle on things. I'm like, oh, what's that? And then next thing I know, like you know, squirrel. It was skydiver now. <laughs> <laughs> you can find me. All right. Yeah. I'm next. Chris did Billy, and he already gave his plug earlier. If you missed it, go back. It's in the it's in the video. <laughs> um, Caitlin, tell us what you um, yeah, um, I am uh, create a, a fantasy adventure webcomic called Moxie, which can be read over at moxiecomic.com. Uh, it's my main project right now, a uh, personal project. Uh, I've got a, a portfolio website at caitlinblaine.com, uh, which people can check out. I'm also over at Twitter and Instagram. Uh, Instagram handles Caitlin Blaine Art. Twitter is Caitlin Blaine seven. Uh, yeah, I'm really bad about keeping my uh, social media platforms up to date. So I need to post some more recent stuff, but people can go over there and follow me. Um, and yeah, this is my cat. <laughs> to say hello as well. <laughs> you forgot about me. Yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Eric, you did Eduardo, right? You're up next. Yes, I did. Can can I share the thing? Oh, there's more yeah. to your shirt. I thought I thought it just said artists are here. Like, oh, we are. We are here. <laughs> what does the rest of it say? To disturb you? Artists are here oh, to disturb, disturb the peace. It's a <laughs> James Baldwin quote. Yeah. Gotcha. Let's see. Both are valid. <laughs> <laughs> Very true. Let's see. Can, can I share the, the cover? Oh, yeah. All right. You got to let me back in, but we'll. Oh. Uh... <laughs> uh, boom. All right. Uh, boom. Let's see. The mic's off. <laughs> yeah, there's so many things I have to click through as soon as I'm in. Like, <laughs> That's how I feel the whole show. I'm like, wait, wait, where is it? Let's see. Here we go. You see it? Yep, there it is. Yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah. Ooh. This is Just what I was talking it. about. That is gorgeous. <laughs> Golly. Thank you very much. Did just today finish the uh, the cover art for Truck Stop Hipsters. This is my current project. Uh, you'll be able to see more of that at uh, uh, e.dangerright for, uh, for Instagram and Facebook. And there's plenty of cool stuff that's uh, pretty similar to this if you want to check it out. Yeah, and again, this is exactly the reference for your hipster style that we were talking about before. Like, yes, that's it. it oh, exactly. I love that Dude, moon. You, you pulled out the glow. <laughs> the glows look so good. It looks so bright. Thank you very much. I am pretty pleased with it. <laughs> <laughs> that looks awesome. I, I saw it on Discord, but on my tiny little phone screen. Yeah. Didn't do it justice. <laughs> This thing, he was walking around with a big board of this and it was taped off like this was all traditional you know and it was, oh wow it was just like he took it all the way to kansas with us when is the comic out uh currently i don't so i i haven't really worked uh, like this with uh, with watercolor previously 
So I'm not entirely sure about the uh, release date, but uh, should be within the next two or three months. Nice. Yeah. Pretty stoked. We did yeah, also man. launch the uh, business paperwork for uh, Uncool Comics Entertainment. Check out this guy up here. No. <laughs> <laughs> <Aww. laughs> He's, He's almost pantsless. <laughs> almost. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> He's wearing yeah. the other guy's diaper right now. <laughs> All right, and uh, that's about it for my plug zone. Nice. Very nice. Chad, it's your turn. Oh, uh, sure. Uh, most of the time I work on my comic called The Spectral Void. Um, earlier this year, I put out volume one, and uh, that's available on my website, uh, spectralvoid.com. Um, also on there, I've had shirts, prints, original artwork, and uh, all kinds of other stuff. Um, I've started working on the second volume and started posting on Webtoons for that. Um, and I also do the comics on Twitch as well on the weekend and do fan art on there. Um, I usually stream Friday through Monday night. And let's see, I have an Instagram, Facebook. Uh, most of that's just under the spectral void, so. Yeah. Very cool. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Awesome. Thanks again for joining us. That yeah. was fun. It was awesome Anytime. hanging out with you this weekend. <laughs> so glad to have you, man. Yeah, Gary, you were next. Well, hello, Internet Land. Artist Gary Bedell <laughs> here. Uh, you can find me at www.artistgarybedell.com or on Instagram, Facebook under the same name. Um, go check out uh, the games that Chris was talking about earlier over at Attack Wagon. It's our, grand, our game Scrap Guilds. We're really excited about that. You get to see a little bit of our work that I've done in there too. And I'm currently working on creature design for that as well. Um, also, Christmas is coming up. Uh, I just did a second run of my sketchbook titled One, and I'm currently working on the other one titled Two. And uh, also, you can order Graveyard Slaughter, and if you want a digital copy of my art book, Thawed, you can go on to my website, www.artistgarybedell.com. Awesome. Nice. See, well done. Good execution. <laughs> he always sounds very prepared for that. Oh, yeah, Nate, yeah. Nate sounds jealous. Because he doesn't wait. just disrupt it and change things up all you know, he's <laughs> a plan. <laughs> Corey, tell us all about Corey the Sea. All righty. Hi, everybody. My name is Corey the Sea, not Corey the Thick, or whatever a lot of people like to say. <laughs> I've made it so that people won't, but you know, it happens. It's got to be a big um, C. Oh, I know. It has to be an IC, not an EC. But basically, you can find me on Instagram, on the Twitter. I got TikTok. You can look up or Google Corey the C underscore art or Corey the C. You're going to nine times out of ten find me somewhere. Um, I do live streams on Twitch every Wednesday and every Friday. Wednesday I do art. Friday I actually play video games. And I normally try to do live streams on Thursdays on TikTok. So wherever you find me, you're going to find my crappy art. <laughs> He's being really humble. Is that's really good. That's, <laughs> that's a tagline, man. Yeah, yeah. 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 If you look up my Twitter, up it says mediocre artist. I see every time he does it. I, I see the gleam. That <laughs> I know. I, know. I was cool. for a moment. He's like mediocre artist. <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh! If you saw my freaking live stream yesterday, I went on a full on rant about how to do commissions and stuff like that because somebody asked me. I think it was like almost half an hour long. Damn. Never actually answered their question, just complained about taking commissions. From oh, no, Here's a list like, of things I don't like about it. Which is yeah. <laughs> no, I did a little bit of I that. I know what I asked, but I appreciate it. <laughs> also, it was just more along the lines of, so when you do a commission, this is, the, this is one of the best ways to do it so you don't get screwed over. Oh, okay. I've been screwed right. over good. too many You've times. You've progressed then. You've progressed past that stage. That's good. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, you know, we actually, well, going back to our Discord, we talk about stuff like that. We've right. had discussions about, you know, uh, dealing 
with certain clients and how to get what you're worth out of them and right. doing commissions, mm-hmm. you know, either it be like for a company or for personal purposes or a personal commission. There's just a lot of different ways of going about that. And all yeah. of our experiences have, have kind of been like, it's not just like, Hey, look at me, look what I can do or yeah. look what I can do for you. It's oh. also like, this is what it took for me to do it. This is how long it took for me to do it. And other people are like, yeah, more importantly, though, here's the mental health behind it. Here's the interaction with other people and how to work on a deadline and how to work with other people. And and there's a lot of really interesting conversations in the community that it's like, we should do a video on that. We should do a video on that. I don't know anything about them. I should have we we should invite them to do a video about this. And, Mm -hmm. you know, so anything that's like like a quick like two minutes on, on, you know, Instagram reels or a TikTok or whatever, it's all valid content. Yeah. And that's kind of what we're building is like, hey, all of that stuff that you think, even the complaints and the celebrations, like it's all valid. Share that. We have people that want to see that, that need to see that. Got it. One thing also that I was ranting about was uh, apparently if you're a freelance artist doing commissions and stuff like that, make sure to take down as many notes whenever it comes to your income, because if it's over six hundred dollars, you're going to have to file taxes. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah yeah it's a new bill that passed and one of my friends actually just got hit by it and now he owes the irs like three thousand dollars oh shit balls yeah and, and i was just like oh dang um but apparently because down there digital art is taxed or digital stuff is taxed here in missouri it's not taxed so Oof. oh yeah, yeah when we sold games in ohio I don't think it might, I don't think Mike realized, I don't know. I don't do the money part. So maybe he did, but that's different taxes. You have to pay oh, Ohio yeah. taxes if you sell it there and you're not covered if you just pay Missouri taxes. Yeah. It's a freaking nightmare. Yeah. And they, they scare you by telling you, you owe way more than you do just to get your attention. <laughs> I was yeah. like, wait, what? We didn't sell that much. <laughs> We owe that much in taxes. Yeah. Yeah, we'll we'll like, just oh, assume eight hundred percent. Yeah, you owe me four thousand dollars. I only I made like four sales of a hundred bucks. <laughs> All right, oh, well, last gosh. plug. I already plugged Playco, and that's how I made my way here, kind of. So that's already been plugged. I will plug the pin click click is a Facebook group. That pretty much right now, all we do on there is um, make polls because you have to have a group to make a poll so you can vote on topics and suggestions. But hey, um, anytime we have a, a month where um, like we did the imaginary friends this time, if you want to draw something and share it, pop it in there. Let people see it, you know, um, make it a group thing. You know, maybe we will even share that on one of our shows if you care to share it with us. You could do the same thing in the Discord channel. You know, just let us know. Hey, this was inspired by the pin click. Woo. Woo. And then next month, we will be back um, December 30th. That is the night before New Year's Eve. We're closing out the year with a pin click. <laughs> this episode's going to be hilarious. <laughs> the topic <laughs> for that month is, how do we word it? We may change the... If we can think of a better title, you know, if you have one. It's ex- it. it's exciting video game box art. No, it's not. It's not? I thought it was exciting <laughs> video game what? box art. That's not till March, man. No, I thought that was it next month. No, it's oh. Blast from the Past ads. Oh, yes. Oh. Oh. But <laughs> I'm going to share Wait, I already had mine done. to show you what inspired this. I'm going to try to Oh, show yeah, this is hilarious. Ads back in the, I don't know when this is from, 40s, 50s, 60s, 70s. Oh. Um, we're wrong. Oh, yeah. Remember, kids, electricity <laughs> will kill you. <laughs> and then these cellophane ads, I found multiple of these. <laughs> Excuse me? The baby is a cellophane. The one, baby is dead. Them, there were two toddlers in a stroller covered in cellophane, and oh. it said, "If these toddlers could talk, they would be okay." It's great. I'm like, but these toddlers could breathe. Exactly. I'm like, wait, <laughs> it's not because they can't talk; they can breathe. So yeah, breathe. We're gonna be asking for suggestions 
on simple phrases that could be taken in a creepy or eerie way. And oh. these guys are going to make the ad. Well, they kind of speak for themselves, don't they? Yeah. Well, yeah, but we're going to have you guys are going to draw whatever the viewers come up like with. Like take it literal? <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. So All that's coming up is. next month. Um, other than that, that wraps up the holiday tonight. special. Yeah. <laughs> the dance number. <laughs> you guys have got 15, you guys you got 15 minutes <laughs> to Magma Studio if you want a Magma. If you want to look at it, I, there is some part. stuff there. Is there stuff there already? There is some stuff there. Where's I have too many tabs open. We're, there it is. We're going to tab over and be like, oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I just refreshed. Okay. And I'm sharing screen. Maybe. <laughs> Marge. Marge. I don't know what's happening. Marge. Marge. Oh my. <laughs> oh my. This is what happens behind the scenes. This is what happens whenever people leave me alone unattended. That's why they had they forced you to stay to your lair and then name it. Well you didn't have to you didn't have to name it, but now that you did, there's no disguising who that is. <laughs> yep. Oh man, we're gonna get sued for sure. <laughs> Don't worry. This 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 isn't um uh, Homer. This is Bomer. <laughs> this is Carl. Facebook's gonna pull us up for sure. <laughs> oh, I just saw the donut. Yep. <laughs> Corey just got our show canceled, ladies and gentlemen. You're welcome. <laughs> he, he got Disney after us. <laughs> Apparently, Disney has censored uh, or taken down a couple of episodes of The Simpsons if you try to find them on Disney+. Plus. I know the Michael Jackson episode's not on. Yeah, it's gone. It's gone, gone. Yeah, I was like, oh. March. Oh, hey, do you guys want to want a prompts to draw something right now, or you just want to keep doodling? I, I will mean, actually oh, have you know, to duck out. Doodle, let's talk about a subject, then. If we're gonna doodle, but if we're gonna prompt, I mean, we have like 15 minutes left, I think. We'll Nate, did you say you need to duck out? Yeah, I, probably, I won't really be. I mean, I unfortunately I think I, as far as the uh, the the magma session. Oh, I thought you you were leaving. Are you sticking yeah, around? Yeah, I, I would be. I mean, I, I, we got 15 minutes, so we're gonna, all right, we can hit that. So is that? <laughs> yeah, we have 13 minutes left now. So. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> I am drawing with lag, which is the funnest. Yeah. My mm. computer's not working. <laughs> no. <laughs> my computer's yeah. just like, please kill me. Are you guys <laughs> drawing with the mouse? Or are you, are you using tablets? I am drawing with my feet. I'm kidding, of course. <laughs> I am I'm drawing oh. with a tablet. That's skilled. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> All right. I still need a. Look. I got to go at ten as well, but uh, I can yeah. doodle for for ten yeah. minutes. I was about to say, Chad, <laughs> I will say that when it ever comes to your microphone, it makes you sound like you're my conscience. <laughs> <laughs> and that, that that makes my heart happy. It's a good thing. Nice. <laughs> totally, it's a good thing. Very cool. <laughs> it's a good thing. Uh -huh. like, Corey, I'm your conscience. I'm speaking to you. Draw more. I wish my uh, webcam was a little better today, but uh, I couldn't change the settings or anything, so. Ah, uh, valid. <laughs> yeah, my tablet's not working for some reason. I think my computer needs a Windows update, so I'm afraid to do anything right now. Oh, <laughs> I had a Windows update crash my whole computer once. Yeah. Jesus. Yeah. I also recently, my computer gave me an alert that Windows 11 was not compatible with my computer. Do I want yeah. to skip? It said, do you want to skip the update or shop for new computers? They <laughs> 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 put some shade on your computer. They're like, yeah. mm, your, com yeah, your computer is really pretty trash. You. Yeah. <laughs> I, uh, I recently tried uh, plugging in a old, old Wacom tablet that I 
I had from, I don't know, over 10 years ago. And I plugged it into a newer computer and it's like, sorry, there's the driver available for this. We recommend you buy something newer. Yeah. <laughs> That's like every phone that I've owned before this one. Like the very basic phone feature. Like, no, we disabled updates for this. It's like, I'm sorry, but you're whatever you're working with is trash and you should upgrade. <laughs> Pretty much. Yeah. Yep. Your Golly. computer's bad and you should feel bad. <laughs> Zoyberg. <laughs> Now, um, I, oh, I just lost my pictures there. What, what do you, what is your, all of your favorite digital medium to draw on? Like, what's your favorite, like a tablet or a program or what? graphics tablet and uh, Clip Studio Paint? Cintiq Photoshop, uh, iPad, and I like Clip Studio too. Yeah, Clip Studio. I use a Wacom Mobile Studio Pro. Uh, so it's a computer drawing tablet, kind of like a Cintiq. Um, and then I use Clip Studio and Photoshop yeah, because yeah. I'm too lazy to fully learn Clip. <laughs> <laughs> this is actually really cool crap you could do with Clip Studio Paint. I was not expecting it. Yeah. I do most of my color work in Photoshop just because I'm more comfortable with the tools. But I really, really like Clip's... Uh, Ink, inking tools um, mm-hmm. and uh, vector ink th- inking is really cool if you yeah. haven't checked that out yet yes I mean, Mary was uh, trying I mean, to talk me into learning vector and I just I don't want to take the time yet <laughs> but it's so amazing because yeah. you can blow it up to however big you want or however small you want and it won't lose any detail because it's math <laughs> Instead of thoughts. I bet that's why I'm balking and not wanting to do it. It's math. Yeah, I mean, most artists, when they heard something about math, they're like, nope, not going to do this. Mm-mm. Nope. <laughs> do you think I have time for math? No. All I have time for is drinking about two hour old coffee and sitting in front of a computer screen until my eyes bleed. I want to sit here and make art so people don't yell at me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gosh. I usually, uh, my, my workstation is, I, I, I'm surrounded by screens, so I'm probably going to get cancer. But uh, Same. Right here, I have a, it's a, a, one of those Huon, Huion 27-inch uh, like H Pro, HD Pros. Basically a Cintiq, but it was like half the cost. Actually, not, it's like more than half the cost. But I love it. Um, but since I've been more at the shop than I've been at my desk, uh, I've gotten familiar with drawing on, uh, on my iPad. And I'm not a big Apple fan at all, but the iPad actually does a pretty good job. Um, mm-hmm. uh, and again, I'm a huge Adobe kid, so I like to draw in Vector. And, and so a lot of Illustrator and Photoshop. But... Um, Clip Studio, especially since they probably they've integrated the vector into um, other formats, I think it'd be really handy. There's and and I have Procreate, and I know the power of Procreate. I'm really impressed with most programs are basically running circles around Adobe, so all are they're very good. But I've just been a I don't know I've been an Adobe kid just because you know I was convinced that they're the industry standard, and that's what everybody wants me to learn. So. But I'm outdated. <laughs> yeah, learning something new, it's always once you learn it, you're so happy because it's better, but it's just... And they're all similar. They all run the same mm-hmm. kind of, you know, they're really not that different. It's just that... There's that you know, learning there's, curve, you know? Got to learn yeah. the interfaces and the tools. Yeah, wanna... <laughs> I'm actually about to pick up a Toon Boom to try Ooh. to learn Toon Boom. And it... I remember I what was it i bought like a month of it and because of my job i had maybe at most 30 minutes to an hour a day that i could actually play around with it and by the end of it i knew nothing about toon boom and the funny part is my wife knew more about toon boom than i did (laughs) and i was like darling you don't you're not even on toon boom what what happened she goes well you left your computer on so i decided to play around with it and i'm like I wanted to learn, but I had to go to the pod shop. 
but I used to roll around with a Wacom Cintiq tablet, and now I'm working with the XP Pen 15. And I will have to say, for like 250 bucks I spent on this thing, I thought I remember it was like 200 or 300. I can't remember. It works surprisingly well. It's a lot less clunky than my um, Cintiq 13 inch HD. And whenever it comes down to it, I mean, I don't have like a USB port on here, but I love, love that it doesn't have a freaking 32 pin connector that is right where my right hand is that I sometimes <laughs> actually rest my hand on. And then my screen starts going crazy. I'm like, crap, I'm breaking this $800 Cintiq tablet. Great. Yeah. Sponsor me, XP Pin, please. <laughs> <laughs> Send me free stuff. <laughs> yes, we don't mention brand names enough. <laughs> exactly. Right. But I also will say that another thing I've been using has been a uh, Microsoft Surface Pro 4. And that thing is freaking amazing. Yeah. I can take it anywhere I want. It's basically like an iPad but I can have Clip Studio Paint on it and any other Windows-based program because it's a Windows 10 computer rather than just a Windows tablet. So it doesn't run the Windows tablet OS. It runs the actual Windows 10. So I could yes. put whatever animation software I want on it. I could put games on it. I was playing Shantae for a minute and then actually working on the second second. Mm, it's gorgeous. Mm. Ah. Put Steam on it. It is beautiful. See, I think that's the computer my son just got. Um, oh. The one that's in art school. Yeah. And yeah. this, well, anything from the Pro 3 onward um, is fantastic. If you get the Pro 2 or Pro 1, that is a Windows tablet OS, and you can't download Jack Diddley Doohaw on it, and it doesn't have pen capability. Well, then I hope you got the good one. I don't remember which one he got. <laughs> oh, I was about to say, if he went to like Best Buy and bought something, he got the good one. If he went over to a pawn shop and bought one for like 50 bucks, he got the bad one. He went online. <laughs> so, I don't uh, know. I'm sure he knew what he was looking for. Wild West. Wild he had Wild mentioned West. he was interested, though, and he'd heard a lot about Procreate. He was thinking about an iPad just to try that out. Procreate has done a lot of amazing things. It and actually, they have... just started up with animation on there, too. Yeah. And they it just, is... They're setting the bar, man. They're really... Be, they're, they're the ones that are pushing the mobile oh, yeah. art team the hardest. Especially... Like, people on tiktok it's ridiculous yeah I said, uh, oh, compared to them adobe is like struggling to try and keep up like the newest update they made some really big advances that me personally i, I appreciate but you can do 3d in it yeah yeah mm -hmm. they, <laughs> what oh my gosh i was waiting for blender to come to mobile is you know yeah and that's i think blender is really the only other thing that could possibly give them give uh procreate yeah. Isn't that some kind of dating app? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, baby, hit me up on my Blender DMs. Yes. Mm. <laughs> hit me up on my Blender DMs. I thought oh you were talking God. about Procreate. Oh, Procreate. <laughs> oh, <geez. laughs> oh, what is it? Singles at Procreate.com. <laughs> <laughs> well, guys, we've got a few minutes left. Do you want to talk about what you what what you've been making here? You guys work so fast. <laughs> I made an angry, grumpy turtle. <laughs> I like him. His it's name great. Is Phil. He's just old. Yeah, he's old. His name is Phil. And, you know, he really doesn't like flies. <laughs> Especially when they're on his lawn. Yeah. Get off my lawn! <laughs> flies! That's funny. Oh, mine's just some uh, sea creature. That's that's kind of what I was going for. He kind of reminds me of a cobalt. <laughs> or not cobalt. Uh, what are those things from D&D? &D? Uh, can't remember. <laughs> He's adorable. His, his body <laughs> and mouth is so much bigger than his arms and legs. It looks like he could topple. <laughs> how, do you, how do you Heimlich that thing? <laughs> you don't. <laughs> you just whack it with a stick. <laughs> You just don't think about putting your mouth on it. It's what you do. It's ninety percent. Where do you mouth. grab across its mouth? Or you just? I guess you're right. You hit it in the back of the head with a stick. 
I mean, there's no throat, so you know, I don't know if right. you can choke or not. There's no anything to grab. You just <laughs> kick him a bit. Yeah, if he's choking, just put him out of his misery. <laughs> <laughs> and Gary, who have you got there? Oh, I'm doing like a uh, '80s female action star thing. I don't know. I just female Rambo. Like, yeah, <laughs> pretty Rambo. much. <laughs> So I want to know what brush you're using. <laughs> What's that? What brush are you using? I'm just using using the regular round brush. Same. I realize the licensed brush. Gary Bedell brush. Yeah. <laughs> uh, what regular ass factory brush is like <laughs> regular <laughs> valid ass factory brush. All right, well, I gotta stop screen sharing. All right. Okay. I will say that. Uh, that pencil brush is pretty trash because it's just a square. And I was trying it earlier, and I was just yeah, like, yeah. Ugh, uh, you gotta use the brush. Don't use the, the pencil. <laughs> yeah, the pencil, pencil the pencil is different. Pencils are okay. Gross. Here's the thing. Here's a piece of advice I'm gonna give everybody about pencil brush tools. Pencil brush tools are best used for pixel art. Yeah. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Not doing your illustration. Pixel art. Bring up a grid and just poke in your spots. Yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Other than that, it's butts. Straight up butts. <laughs> All day butts. Yeah, not uh-huh. just one butt, butts. Plural. Well, thanks for everyone for being on here. I, uh, you know, I know the times have been weird and schedules have been weird and we've been weird. <laughs> but uh, so it makes us. Dad, it was awesome having you, man. It was awesome hanging out with you in Kansas. And uh, yeah, it was fun. I know we kind of hijacked the show with our big personalities, but I hope you had a good time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, and with that, um, we're going to wrap up episode three of season two of The Pen Click. Um, Make sure you come back December 30th for an end of the year show, holiday extravaganza. What'd you call it, Gary? (laughs) 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 And, um, you know, uh, Clever Kaiju page, keep an eye out. In the next few days, we will have the event made and be asking for suggestions. So think of your creepy weirdo slogans for an ad that these guys can totally, totally mess up and make babies me. love it. <laughs> no, I don't even want a like that. Like that. Like that. that. <laughs> <laughs> but um thanks for joining us and we will see you next month. Bye everybody. Bye. 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 Bye.